Hello, and welcome to a very scary episode of Off the Cuff Healthy Cooking with Craig Mitchell. <laughs> If you're not sure what it is exactly, I'm dressed as the 2017 New York Mets season. It sure scared the hell out of me. But don't worry, the Mets aren't scary. If you ever meet a Met in a dark alley with a baseball bat, don't worry. He's not going to hit you. He can't hit anything. Anyway, happy Halloween. And for this week's show, I'm doing something a little different. Uh, well, I'm cooking one-handed. Well, actually, this hand is actually fine. But what I'm doing is I'm making some... Well, it's healthy cooking. Today, technically, it's going to be healthier cooking. What I'm making is a very, 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 very cool confection you may see at state fairs. Yeah, ever see those deep fried Twinkies? Oh, baby, they're good. But they have a load of calories. So what I'm gonna do is an air fried Twinkie. Deep fried, air fried, deep fried. In the air fryer, gonna be great. And also, I'm going to do an air fried candy bar. I can't say the name, <laughs> but that was a hint. Anyway, this is going to be a fun episode. Don't get too scared. <laughs> and let's get on to the proceedings. <laughs> For the first part of this air fried pastry, you need pancake batter. I'm going with a classic. A third of a cup of milk, a tablespoon of oil, I'm using canola oil, and an egg, and a frozen, or slightly frozen, terrifying Twinkie. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's nothing terrifying about a Twinkie, except they never go bad. I put a cup of pancake batter in my bowl. Now three quarters of a cup of whole milk. You can use skim, I suppose, too. The egg. Oh yeah, I do it one-handed now. And a tablespoon of oil. And now we mix. We mix, we mix, we mix, we mix, we mix, we mix. <sighs> this is why I don't sing. Okay, there you go. That's the proper consistency. That's what you're shooting for. Now to get the Twinkie, which I am keeping in the freezer because you want it to be as cold as possible when you put it in the air fryer. Twinkie batter right into the air fryer basket, which is already pre-spayed, so pre-spayed, so it won't reproduce. No, it's pre-sprayed, so it won't stick. Now we dunk the Twinkie into the batter, and we make sure we coat it extremely well. Get it well covered. You want this to be a battered, but not beaten Twinkie. Really cover it up, and it's going to go directly into the air fryer. Then we're going to put it in the air fryer for three minutes. It's in. Let's go to the air fryer. I think I got the temperature. It's 400 for three minutes. Okay. Now we got to just wait for that air fried deliciousness. So I want to try these confections while they're hot. So I'm not going to wait till the end of the show. Yeah, this is annoying me too. Okay, not really an injury. So I'm gonna try this. Nom, nom, nom. Right now. Wow. 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 Mm. This is really good. Well, that's really, really good. Now the cream inside, it's still a little bit cold. So my suggestion would be, if you're doing it for three minutes, don't freeze it. If you do freeze it, do it for like four, maybe four and a half. But oh man, the cold. Yeah, I'm off my diet, but it's Halloween. <laughs> now for the candy bar. You need one half cup of corn flour, one egg, some egg roll, spring roll wrappers, 
and your candy bar. Okay, now I'm only going to do one Snickers bar, so there may be too much of a, of this corn flour, so I'm not going to use as much because you're only going to spread this onto the wonton. Another egg. And then we stir it up and make this into kind of a coating more than a batter. And we're just going to stir this together because I'm going to take this with a brush and I'm going to brush it on the uh, the spring roll wrapper and then I'm going to wrap this around the Snickers and then we're going to do it for 350 for five minutes in the air fryer okay that's really all I got to do that's that's more than enough it's going to act as an adhesive and also it's going to give some body here's the wonton wrapper you can buy it at any supermarket and what we're going to do is just take some of this mixture I just made and just put it on here Not too thick, just enough to cover, well, I would say 85% of it. Look, I, I just said the S word for this. It's not the, it's not, no. It's just a, a chocolate bar that has peanuts and nougats. And uh, when you eat it, instead of being in a bad mood, you get into a good mood. But it's not the, it's not the S word, no. So we take our sni uh, candy bar. And I've actually done this only once, so this should be interesting. And we're going to fold it into this. And I'm just going to roll it. And then put the sides down. And what could be easier than that? Now we're going to put this in the air fryer for five minutes. And we'll have a air fried candy bar. I've cleaned the air fryer basket. And I've re-sprayed it with non-stick cooking spray. And now we're going to put the you know what in the you know where this is going to be for five minutes for 350 years no it's going to be five minutes at 350 calories no <laughs> it must be the sugar rush i haven't had a twinkie in three years it's going to be five minutes at 350 degrees here we go get in there oh boy oh boy come on After this, Uncle Craig's going to take a good long nap. And our confection is ready. Oh, goodness. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> like I said, I usually sit at the table at the end of the episode. Uh, but for this, I mean, there's no decorations on that side of the kitchen. I want to see all that. I spent like eight bucks on that stuff. But anyway, this is done. Look at that. Unreal. Um, <laughs> I'm going to taste it now. Now, I will tell you, I had it in there for five minutes, 350. I was checking on it, and it looked like that would have been a little bit too long. So this is actually more like three and a half minutes. If you do multiple candy bars, then you probably need five minutes. So adjust your, uh, your, uh, your, your, your menu, adjust your menu at whatever restaurant you serve this at. Now adjust your, your, adjust your recipe accordingly. Now for the taste. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Isn't that? It crunches. That quick batter we made with the corn, with the corn flour is sweet. Now, the whole point of this show is to eat with low carb, low calorie. This is definitely low calorie than a deep fried candy bar. But you know, every once in a while, like Halloween, treat yourself a little bit. Don't overdo it. Um, this will be the last sugar I have until 2043. But my gosh. If you have a Halloween party, or if you just want to treat yourself on a Saturday night, do this. And you can you can you can also if you cut this in half, you can do a little you know the fun size ones. I love the air fryer. I love healthier cooking. I'm not even going to attempt to put the calories up in these because I know they're high. But you know what? Just 
happy Halloween, everybody. See you in two weeks. I have no idea how I'm going to top this one. Mm -mm. All right, one more. Ah, uh, oh, man.